Guys, I just finished the first episode of the new Gossip Girl reboot and I have some things to say. As someone who really enjoyed the original Gossip Girl, I was excited about the idea of them revisiting this franchise and rebooting it for newer audiences. And to my disappointment, I don't think that the creators when they were making this new reboot took into consideration the original fan base. Because at points, this series to me didn't even feel like Gossip Girl. But I do gotta say that there are some really nice elements and themes throughout this first episode but I would say that the bad unfortunately outweighs the good. So our main focus apparently is this character called Julian Calloway or JC and she is an influencer even though I didn't see much influencing from her. But JC has this cool group of friends who I'm assuming are all super rich and wealthy but turns out that she has a half sister and that she's never met before but they share the same mom. So it turns out that JC actually paid the school to have her sister transfer to that school that they all go to and this was literally them referencing what happened with Lori Laughlin and Olivia Jade, which I kind of appreciated. So the little sister is Zoya or Z, and I really like the concept of this character. You know, the typical new girl in town. She's new, she's awkward, but you know that one day she's gonna snap at all of them and come back with a vengeance. So JC is like hiding the fact that she's been communicating with her sister all along and keeping that, you know, away from her friends, and I'm like, but wait then why are they your friends? And these group of friends are so mean to Z, literally for no reason. And I'm like, you guys have literally not spoken a single word to her. And they're all like, but we don't want her to come to the party. And I'm like, but you guys have never even spoke. And speaking of her friends, there's this character who literally did the most for me that I just couldn't with this character. This is Monet. And I think what they were trying to do is make her a Blair wannabe, but it was just not not working out for me, I gotta be honest. I don't know where she would just start freaking out or making fun of someone, no reason out of context. It was like she was making no sense. And it's the way that the character was written because it seemed so out of line with the rest of the characters. It was just not clicking for me. Then there's Max Wolf, who seems to be like a mixture of like Chuck Bass. And I'm pretty sure the show established that he has two dads, which I appreciated. And the show is totally setting up the fact that him and the guy with the pink hair are gonna hook up eventually. And then there's Audrey Hope and she's dating the guy with the pink hair but they're so not right for each other and not much is revealed about her character except the fact that she's totally in love with Max and is having second thoughts about her boyfriend, which I agree. And then Otto seems to be the richest out of all of them but what I liked about his character is the fact that he doesn't seem to be happy about the fact that he's rich and that he doesn't care about any of that and that was super interesting for me and then there's Luna and I was not very but extremely disappointed about the fact that her character is just like a side minion to JC and she had literally nothing important to contribute to this first episode and this is supposed to be the pilot you guys the episode where you set everyone's future storylines and character arcs and give us hints about what is to come in the future but I felt that the show failed at giving us any of that. It did was able to hook me up with the fact that things seem to be turning around for the characters of JC and Z in the sense of that they will regret bringing Z to the school because they're gonna end up probably being their biggest enemy of all time. So that's something that the new Gossip Girl reboot has going for it. But the show did have some moments that I felt like I was watching a comedy. Yes, a comedy. And that's what I mean when I say that they probably didn't have the target hardcore original original Gossip Girl fan base in mind when making this series because this new reboot is targeted for people who have probably never watched the original. So this was just the first episode and I hope things do get better as the season progresses. So this was my review of the Gossip Girl reboot. If you get a chance to check it out on HBO Max, please let me know down below because I would totally love to know your thoughts down below. Anyway guys, that's it for me. I'm Rafa, your Latin friend over here from Hollywood, California, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Something's different. In a good way? In the best way.